Hi peeps, it's Angela, and today I'm going to show you how I made this beautiful switch plate or light plate cover. I'm going to use Cernet Pearl Clay and several products from tinypandora.com to make this project, including the Gem Sticky Starter Set, the Elegant Metal Box Form, the four different size roses mold, and the butterfly bundle. I'm also going to use a little bit extra chain from the Rhinestone Nirvana Blink Quartet, and I'm going to use the oval form from the Oval Easy Bangle Kit that was previously sold. Oven test your switch plate cover before you use it to make this project. Coat the front of your switch plate with poly paste or bacon bond. Then cover your switch plate with a sheet of clay you've rolled out on your thickest setting. Press out any air bubbles and contour the sheet of clay to the shape of your switch plate. Then you'll flip the plate over, trim the edges, and use an X-Acto knife to cut out the center area where the switch goes. Use a rubber tip tool to open up the screw hole areas and then texture. I'm going to cure my piece for 30 minutes following the manufacturer's directions. Now I'm going to mold my pieces that I'll be using. I like to use a thinner layer of clay. I don't want to fill the mold to capacity and I want to use a ball tool to press into it to ensure I get all the detail. And then I'm going to press it a little bit from the side just to sharpen the wing. And then I'm going to remove the mold from the clay, not the clay from the mold. That way it just pops out, drops to my tile. I can make any needed adjustments and then it's ready for coloring. You can also make your pieces using liquid clay. These molds are oven safe. To complement my molded butterflies and roses, I'm going to make some simple leaf shapes. And now that I have all my components ready, I'm going to start coloring them. I do work from the lightest to the darkest. I'm just using two shades here, so I'll use my pearl white on top, and then I'll come back in with my teal mica. Now my pieces are ready for curing. I will bake them at the recommended temperature for the recommended time. This is a sheet of clay on a medium thickness that I've textured and used the elegant metal box form to cut the shape out. Now I'm going to center the oval bracelet and cut to make a frame. I am using the grid lines on my tiny Pandora glass mat to ensure that the center is truly centered. Once it is, I'm going to press it through to cut, and then I'm going to use my blade to lift it up, remove the center, flip it over, and apply a thin layer of bacon bond or liquid clay to the back side of the frame. I am going to put this onto my already baked light switch plate cover, so I need that liquid clay or poly paste as a bonding agent. Once I have a thin layer of liquid clay on the back of the ornate cutout, I'm going to put it back onto the oval form. Now that sounds a little tricky and I did get slightly off camera when I'm doing this, but all you need to do is just lightly pull it over the top or you could put it on from the bottom by flipping the cutter upside down. Um, just be gentle. You want to use the cutter oval form as a transfer mechanism to make sure that you center it onto your already baked switch plate. Once I'm happy with the placement, I'm going to touch up the texture with the sponge and that will also help attach the ornate frame to the already baked switch plate cover. The little bit of pressure helps it adhere. Once I have it all in place and textured all the way around, I'm going to remove the other cutter. Now I'm going to press the rhinestone chain around the interior oval, pressing it into the raw clay. You can always come back with a touch of super glue after this is cured if you need to secure the chain more. 
Working from the bottom up and using liquid clay, I'm going to attach my elements. Now I'm going to place tiny little amounts of gem sticky where I want my rhinestones to go. Use my pickup tool to place the rhinestones and then cure it under a UV lamp for two minutes. Then I'm going to bake at my recommended temperature by the manufacturer for the recommended time. I hope you've enjoyed this little tutorial piece. Can't wait to see what you make. Bye for now.